All right, let's see if this works. I've tried restarting and it doesn't restart. It just kind of hangs. Let's see if it works this time. screen hold on move it over oops alrighty then so that shows the main, <clears throat> figure that out. So then here goes the advance. So SATA operation, we want that to be a HCI. Attention, things are happening, right? Changing the setting may prevent your operating system from booting or require a reinstall. Are you sure you would like to continue? Yes. So then I go to security and I don't really need to change any of that. TPM, that's, that's fine. Secure boot mode, that's fine. Boot, there's the boot. This is what I was talking about. There's add boot option, delete boot option. If I hit enter on add boot option, I get that. Whole bunch of gibberish. There you go. So then they have SATA 1 and then SATA no, part 1, part 2. I don't know what to do with that one, so I leave it alone. File browser delete boot option. Obviously, don't want to delete anything. Secure boot. Leave that alone. So then here goes the boot option priorities. Windows boot manager. Option one is the HDD, right? And then option two would be the optical disk drive, IPv4, and then boot option number three. I'll change that to boot manager. Right? Since the HDD we don't want, right? So then that's gonna be the one. So then save, changes, and reset. I'll do that. Let's see what happens. There's just a little loading thingy-majig there. That's what happened last time. And it just... Loaded, loaded, loaded. And then restart it. So I'm gonna go back into... We're gonna go back into BIOS. All right, so that didn't take. That did not take. It does not like being in. I'll leave it the way it is. What if I disable? No, I don't wanna do that. Enable that. I want the boot manager to be this one. And I'll just do that. Let's flip it. I don't know. What's the worst that could happen? Let's 
try it again. I'm guessing the same thing's gonna happen. A little loading thing, Majiggy. Yep. If, if the SSD was working, this would have worked already. And off. Yep. We'll go back into BIOS. All right. So then I'm gonna re-enable RAID. Yes. And then uh, oh, I'll show you what the add boot option is. Add boot option. Let's say partition one. Then what? System volume information, EFI. I select that one. Then it gives me that. I don't know. Go to boot. Go to boot again. And then input file name. I have no idea. I don't want to mess with that. Um, USB configurations, power options, AC recovery, deep sleep control, USB wake support, auto power on, auto recovery two, performance options, overclocking that's disabled. So raid back on. Number three is the Windows boot manager. Let's try that again. Preparing automatic repair. It didn't like whatever it is that I did. Let's do reset this PC. It lets you choose or keep or remove your personal files, then reinstalls Windows. We don't want that. Factory image restore, story system. We don't want that either. We want to continue, exit and continue to Windows 10. Right? That's what I'm going to do because I'm not going to reset that. And then I click yes. Little loading thing we jig. And now it's switched again. Now they both work. Open here. So I have this one here is the operating system C, 
that's the original drive, and then it's showing up as F again for the H SSD.